a novel reversible heat engine reversible heat engine is plot on ts diagram as a circle with the maximum and minimum temperature of 1100 and 200 the maximum entropy change is what 2 kilojoules per kelvin calculate the heat rate to cycle heat rejected network output and thermal efficiency of cycle and this time the radius is given or minimum maximum is given so maximum temperature will attain at this point 1100 kelvin 200 kelvin what is the entropy change 2 kilojoules per kelvin so let mark these points on the graph a b c d e f so what is the area of circle area of circle is basically w net this one is ts is it q net and is q net is same as w net okay area under ts diagram will give you q net and the value of Q net is same as W net by first law for cyclic process. So this equals to pi r square pi into r. Now actually r is not known. So what we do is that we will split this as pi into r into r. On this scale, on this side is the diameter of this side. Is it 1100 minus 200 is 900 and therefore radius on this side is what? Radius on this side is 450. It's a Kelvin. It's a Kelvin. I am writing Kelvin here. Radius on this side radius diameter is 2 so radius on this side is 1 is it kilojoule per kelvin now tell me kelvin kelvin cancel are you getting kilojoules is the unit of kilojoules is w net problem solved so what is the heat supplied heat supplied is basically from this one is heat supplied this one is it a heat supplied area under ts diagram is it a change in it and what is the heat rejected so heat rejected is this so this one is heat rejected sorry heated it and this one is what heat rejected then are you getting this quantity equals to what the net what is the q net this one is total quantity is was heat supplied this quantity is what heat rejected what is q net heat supplied minus heat rejected so this area you have to calculate so area under this diagram represents the heat this one is a this one is b now as far as the area is concerned this is a standard area of what lower rectangle plus one semicircle what is the base of the rectangle is equals to 2 kilojoules per kelvin what is the height of rectangle at this point uh, this one is 200 this one is 1100 uh, so this one is difference is what 450 has to be added on 200 so this answer is 650 is the mean value is 1100 plus 200 1300 by 2 650 and what is this value this value is same as l100 so this area will divide two parts so one is rectangle this rectangle so this one is heat supplied so i will write q in is the area of a b d plus area of b c d this one is rectangle and this one is semicircle area of rectangle is base multiplied by height base is 2 height is 650 plus area of circle is known to us and half of that is the area of what semicircle so this one is 1413.7 divided by so we have q net for cyclic engine q net is same as q in minus q out so q net is 1413 q in is 2006 minus of q out right thermal efficiency is given by w net q in w net is same as q net equal to 1413 and heat supplied is 2006 70.4 now we'll check whether this is possibility of this one or not for this i will calculate carnot efficiency carnot efficiency is th minus tl divided by th since i have a data available i will go for it so th is 1100 t lower is 200 divided by 1100 it means that the engine is possible because your efficiency is what less than carnot so it is practicable engine but whether it actually work or how to make it that is the issue so data is given for diagram equal to what dot ts temperature t1 is given as 300 and the temperature t2 is given as 440 and you have to join these two point by straight line so process is like going upward so this one is point 0.1 this one is point 0.2 this one is temperature and this one is entropy all data is available so i will not write data here you can collect it he want the change in what internal energy that is delta u enthalpy okay represent all this quantity and you want to calculate work interaction a certain mass certain mass is it open system or closed system so we have a closed system and we have a process so we have q equal to delta u plus w that is q12 equal to delta u12 plus w12 don't apply w net formula can you calculate delta u12 is u1 and u2 is given so one by one we'll calculate the q equal delta u is it u2 minus u1 u2 is 190 u1 is 170 
So this answer is 20 kilojoules. First part is over. Second part, we have to calculate from TS. Is this one is representing del Q multiplied by del Q is equal to T multiplied by DS. So this quantity, if you go by this way, so we have a strip here whose thickness equals to what? DS height equal to what? T. So what is del Q? So del Q equals to what? T DS. So if we integrate this, we'll get Q one two. We cannot take out T common the outside why not because it's a variable but it is very known very well known that this represents what area under ts diagram if it is pv it is area under pv diagram now can we calculate this area so we can very well calculate this area is it 1 by 2 2 t1 plus t2 that is the mean height mean height will come like this that is the mean height multiplied by s2 minus s1 put all this value and find out this so use this equation one more time and find out what is w12 6.95 kilojoules